Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I'll be going over home upgrades that you may regret if you're moving. Um, we all have been there. If you've been looking for a property or if you have sold a property, you know that uh, when you go look at some houses that are for sale, you notice some things that you're just like, uh, what was that person thinking? Or you, I'm not going to pay the difference for that idea that they had. Um, so that's what we're going to be going over today. Um, before we get started, before we dive into the topic, I do want to let you guys know that you should subscribe to the channel if you're new, because I am going to uh, be helping a client of mine. They want to sell a property that they just finished renovating. And I want to show you guys on the property when I go to it, uh, what to look for if you're buying a property or what to do if you're going to be selling the property. And this would be a great opportunity for you guys to see firsthand how that works and what to look for and, and things that will be very helpful to you um, if you're buying or selling a property. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. But other than that, let's get into the topic. Upgrades that you may regret if you're moving. So that's, you know, if you're moving out, you know, you have made some upgrades to the property or if you're moving in, whichever one, whichever route you're on, let's go ahead and go over that. Uh, first ones we're going to go over will be, uh, it's going to be the pools in the backyard. I, I got to go over it. We have to go over it. You know, I know pools are, they sound wonderful. They are wonderful, you know, uh, but when it's time to move or if you're looking to buy a property, sometimes that might not be uh, the route you want to take, the property with a pool in the back. Now, for the last few years, you know, when people were at home, hey, if you had a pool, you were in the game. But now people are out, they're back working. We really don't have time to spend at the house like that. Uh, we're all busy. Kids are busy. Uh, so the pool is not getting used. What happens when the pool is not getting used? Well, it's just sitting there and, you know, the maintenance is still required. You still have to keep it clean. You still have to do other things to the pool to keep it going. And we all know that pool bills are not cheap. You got to hire somebody to come out, do the work. You know, if you got a pool heater, if that goes out and you know, all that stuff that requires, you know, to keep the pool going, that can be, you know, that can hinder, you know, hinder a lot. So, uh, when you're doing a pool upgrade, if it's um, if it's something that you're not really going to be using a lot, or you think, well, I'm going to have it for the kids, just keep that in mind that it, if you're not going to really be using that a lot, that can hinder you uh, when you're ready to go sell the property, or you know, if you just want to put a pool in the back. So um, now, when people go look at houses, they really don't want pools uh, from a few of my clients that I've seen because. They don't have to do the maintenance or they don't have kids to use the pool. They don't want to use the pool. So, you know, now if you have a pool, it can kind of hinder your selling because nobody really wants the pool. All right. Uh, the next one is going to be the outdoor kitchen setups um, or like the barbecue grill where you do like the whole cabinetry setup or you, you know, you don't put the concrete down. If you, if you just went all out, you got the cabinets with the grill or the kitchen sink, uh, things like that. Um, that's more of a, once again, if that's for you, uh, if you're going to be selling your property later on, then you may want to hold off on that because, you know, when people come to buy a property, they want it to look, uh, you know, they have their own idea. And, you know, outdoor kitchens are more of a hit or miss with certain people, mainly miss because a lot of people really could care less for an outdoor kitchen. But um, once again, it's something that if it's not getting used, it's going to sit outside, it's going to collect, you know, mildew or whatever. And, uh it's just going to turn people off when they're ready to come buy the property. Now, they can be fun, you know, to have, you know, especially when it's new. But after that, you know, after the thrill is gone, then, you know, you just got an outdoor kitchen. And, you know, it's just people when they come by your house, they're like, okay, what, what is this? Oh, it's an outdoor kitchen. But, it, you know, it's, yeah. So that's just something to keep in mind if you're going to do the outdoor kitchen thing. Now, next one, right? It's going to be the uh, the room convergence. Uh Let's say like the garage where you turn your garage into a bedroom or into, you know, something. I have seen this and you have seen this probably a lot of times where people have taken the garage or another room. And they have changed it into something totally different from, from what it was actually built for originally. Uh, the, now, one thing with that, when you take a room that was originally built for one thing and you change it, now you kind of change the layout of the property without changing the layout of the property. So. You know, we all know that a garage has its door that leads to it. Bam, and now you're in the garage. But if you decide to turn it into a, a bedroom, then it looks kind of awkward because it's probably down the hallway by itself, uh, things like that. And also, when people are looking to uh, buy properties, now people like to have a garage. You know, people people are a fan of their cars now. They want that extra storage. And 
they're looking for a garage. So if your house had a garage, but now it's a, it's a bedroom, they're going to skip over your house because, oh, it doesn't have a garage. But it used to have a garage if you had it just left it the same. See how that works? So sometimes that it may or may not be a good idea. Like I said, now a lot of these upgrades, I want you to keep in mind, if you plan on keeping your house for the long haul, by all means, make every upgrade, whatever you want to do. But if you do plan on selling your house to make it easier for yourself, if you can hold out, some of these upgrades you might want to just wait on or make it where you can convert it back easily versus, uh, you know, you can't really convert it back. So like, for example, the outdoor kitchen, you know, some people, if they want to go out, go all out, they will use the concrete and all that. But what if you could use something else? So that way to convert it back to yard space or whatever is easily just removable. And they go the yard back. See things like that. Or if the pool, maybe you do above ground pool. So that way, if you want to take it down, you can do that. Um, so some of these upgrades you can do. Just uh, if you're going to do it and you don't plan on keeping the house, do it to where you can convert it back. Now, if you change your garage into a bedroom, you're probably not going to be able to convert that back. I don't, I don't think so. You know, it's just a lot of work required. You spend thousands of dollars doing it. So you're probably not going to convert that back, but maybe you can convert it in a way that you can use it for something else. And then it's easily, you can easily convert it back because people like garages. Um, you know, I know I do uh, leave some comments down below what you guys think of these upgrade, uh, upgrade ideas. Um, if you think you should do them, if you have done some, if you have done some, let us know how it came out and let us know if you regret doing it. You know, was it a, was it a problem? You got ready to sell your house or did you do these upgrades? And you say, you know what? I love this house. I'm keeping it. I don't need to move. And there you go. So uh, let me know that. If you just have to make some upgrades to your property, some that I would you know, tell you to make would be, you know, you always want to make sure the kitchen is up to date. Um, new cabinets, you know, updated appliances, nothing super fancy. You don't have to go out and spend, you know, buy the, the nicest Samsung refrigerator or, you know, your phone needs to operate the stove or anything like that. But just you want to make it updated. Uh, bathrooms, those are major on the list when people are looking to buy properties. They want to make sure that the bathroom is updated. It feels comfortable. Uh, so, you know, if you're going to make some upgrade, lighting, lights. People like, you know, a room that is lit up. You know, if you can turn the lights on and it's got plenty of light in there, that is a plus. Uh, that's something that you can do to the property uh, that will add value and not break the bank. And, you know, that people will appreciate when they come look at your property. Other than that, thank you guys for watching. I will catch you on the next one.